This is Team Underage FPV and this video shows our first impressions on the new Diatone stack. So in the box it includes an ESC and an FC. It includes a bag full of soft mounts, a XC60 connector, a very nice capacitor, an extra connector for the FC and ESC and a PCB explaining the FC layout which can be used to hold a VTX. Right, so these are the uh, the pros of the new uh, Diatone Mamba Power Tower F7. So it's got a SpeedyB integrated into its flight controller. As you can see, there's the Bluetooth antenna. Uh, makes changes to your beta flight or butterfly settings in the field super easy. You don't even need to bring a, a spare Speedy uh, SpeedyB module or let alone a laptop. Uh, it's got an F7 flight controller. 50 amp continuous ESC with 55 amp burst, good for 4S, 2, all the way to 6S. It's even got a user-friendly design with a, a superb uh, flight controller layout. You've got the cam at the front, you've got spare UR to the bottom, you've got your VTX controls at the sides. In addition, uh, each different group of pads are separated by a thin white line as you can see here makes uh, uh, building this into your quads super convenient and super easy to follow, especially for, uh, for beginners. So, another good thing about this Mamba stack is that it includes a very nice capacitor. Now this means that you will have reduced noise when flying, which is very important to me. Another good thing about this is that it includes a spare connector in the box. Now this means that if you crash and the connector breaks, you don't have to go through a lot of trouble in order to get another one. And finally, the FC includes an integrated LED PCB, meaning you can have a very colorful quad while saving weight. There's also one pros about this ESC is that the padding are not protruding out. As you can see the standoff in here, it's on the same level as this padding. So when you are in a crash, it won't break off. And also there are some cons about this stack. As you can see this stack is a bit longer than the normal ESC. It's coming out from the top and in the back. So in a tighter build you may not fit them because it's a bit bigger than the normal ESC size. Also this package is came in without a XT60 wire which is uh, kind of a weird thing because it came with a XT60 right here but it didn't give you that wire. So for beginners, it might be a little bit difficult for them to buy an extra wire on the internet. And also, this is just a producing unit right now, so in the final version, they might came with the wire. Wait, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up.